It's one of the largest construction projects in the Mid-South that's underway. It's for children from birth to adolescence. And joining us now is Anita Vaughn, the Administrator and CEO of Baptist Hospital for Women. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Dr. Kasseloff. Well, Ms. Vaughn, on the way to the studio today, I drove by uh, the Women's Hospital and all this construction is going on. All the steel is put up and everything. What in the world is going on? It's exciting, isn't it? It, it is. is for us, every one of us at the hospital. Um, but let me start back two years. Um, Baptist has done pediatrics for 102 years. But in 2012, the decision was made that we'd move pediatrics from Baptist Memphis to the women's hospital. It has been our dream for the 12 years we've been open that it would be a women and children's hospital. So we're all ecstatic about that. Um, phase one, we actually moved the inpatient unit, uh, the pediatric inpatient unit, and we moved outpatient diagnostics and started doing surgeries. And what you're seeing is what we call phase two. Phase two, we're actually building a four-story building uh, connected to the hospital. Uh, the bottom floor, which will open in January, is our pediatric emergency room. It is currently at Baptist Memphis, and it has five exam rooms, and it's going to expand to eight exam rooms. And also on the first floor is what we call PD Perch. And uh, that's our mascot, our parrot, and that's where we do outpatient pediatric procedures and diagnostics. So this will be a full service hospital where uh, not only will you see sick and well babies, but for surgeries and, mm -hmm. and diagnostic testing as well for children? Yes, yes sir. And um, we're very happy. We deliver 5,000 babies a year and we've delivered about 65,000 since we've been in our location. So we want to be able to give a continuum of care to those children. Well, I've recently had two grandbabies born at your hospital and they just had a wonderful experience. And recently we had one that had to visit the emergency room for a little croup. And the experience there was wonderful. It seems like the staff really care about the children. Right. And good thing that staff will be transferring right over to our location. So and we'll be expanding it. So now what, what do you see as the timetable of when this is all going to be available? Well, we're looking at towards the end of January will actually be uh, the opening of the emergency room and the movement of PD Perch to that area. Um, but right now we have our inpatient services open and we do pediatric surgery every day. So if, um, uh, if, if someone has a child at uh, uh, Baptist Women's and they need a pediatrician, is that something that uh, you can help them get uh, plugged into a pediatrician for their continued well baby exams and, and issues like that? Every day, every day. We, we have the list, we have 120 pediatricians and specialists and we have our list right there and we talk with mom and dad and look at their zip code or where they, what's convenient for them. Uh, and uh, we can get them hooked up with one of our BMG doctors. With all of this expansion and growth that you're having, what do you see as some of your challenges uh, coming down the road with all this? Well, it's a, you know, you can see our construction and challenge with the building. Uh, I think we're doing, we're on target. We're doing well with that. But the big challenge is all the services that go into that building and uh, having the specialty coverage uh, that we need and very competent staff. And we are working on that. We have them now, but we're working on expanding all of that and and doing different agreements with different specialties to make sure we've got good coverage for whatever a child may enter our doors. So if right now, uh, if uh, parents out there are looking for a, a pediatrician and they really don't know, say they just moved to town uh, and they need a, a doctor for their child, how do they get plugged into the system? Well, they can call us and we will refer them to BMG or we have the list of all the doctors. And if they can, um, we can direct them to our service so that they can look it up on the internet and see which office or physician seems to click with them. Well, this is an exciting time for Baptist Women's and, and Pediatrics as well. And I just want to tell you from the uh, staff side how much we appreciate your leadership and how much we respect what you have done 
uh, you're one of the leading uh, CEOs in Memphis, and we really appreciate the hard work that you've done uh, for the hospital and for the patients, and we really appreciate what you've done. Thank you. It's been a joy every day because of the staff that work with us. Great. Thank you, Ms. Fall, for being on Health Matters today. Coming up, a patient who had a life-changing event happen after a photo was posted on Facebook. Thank you.